Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, what's up? My name is VNA Strick. Thank you so much for being here. As you guys can see by the title, today we're going to be not only reviewing the brand new House Labs concealer, but I'm also going to compare it to the new Makeup by Mario concealer. I know there are so many concealers coming out today, so I know that maybe you're not only looking for a review, but maybe a comparison to see which one is right for you. So hopefully this video can do that for you. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video, and if you do, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad let's get into it alrighty guys so um, I already have obviously a little bit foundation in my eyes and my brows done but I have no concealer under my eyes and today we are gonna be again testing this out if you haven't seen my full review on the makeup by Mario I will link it up here and down below but I had to get the house lab ones because one of my favorite like all time I think my favorite foundation of all time actually I have it where is it it's the house labs foundation it's so freaking good and when they came out with a concealer i was like i have to have it so i was like you know what instead of just doing one review let me just compare them so we can really see it like side to side of course i will tell you guys about the mario uh concealer but i'm gonna spend more time on the house labs in case you already saw the mario one it is available right now online but if you want to buy it in store uh september 7th will be in store so this is called the house labs by lady gaga triclone skin tech hydrating concealer with fermented ar ar arnica <laughs> it is $32 and it does come with 0.24 ounces. Clean, vegan, hydrating, good for dark circles, acne and blemishes, and natural finish. It is described as a lightweight yet long wearing, non comedogenic concealer that does more than cover. It visibly blurs, depuffs, brightens, and conceals with medium buildable coverage. It is a natural finish liquid formulation. Some highlighted ingredients we got niacinamide, fermented arnica, and hyaluronic acid complex. So, again, it's supposed to be a medium coverage. All right, so let's apply this one first because I don't want to confuse you guys. And then we'll apply the Mario one and then I'll tell you guys the claims for that one as well. By the way, packaging, beautiful. The only thing is it does have a pretty big doe foot, which I don't mind. I just wish it worked better because the stopper is for like the big doe foot, but it's not really grabbing any of the excess from the wand. So it does have a little bit of a messier wand. Hopefully you don't mind that. So for the shade, I did get 23 light medium golden. Hopefully I shade match myself well. All right, so let's go ahead and apply the house house concealer on this side. I'm gonna apply the same amount on both sides. By the way, this is a first impression on this one. I already know how I feel about the Makeup by Mario one. All right, so I'm just gonna apply what I would normally apply. Um, okay, so it looks like this shade will actually be perfect for me. Um, it seems like it'll be also a little brightening, so we love that. And then I'm also going to use it for any other coverage that I need or any highlighting that I need. I do have two different concealer brushes, so we're going to use one for each side. All right, so let's go ahead and blend this out. That doe foot applicator did feel nice. All right, so right off the bat, that covered little blemish on my chin, so we love that. Let's go ahead and keep going. Remember, we're looking for a medium coverage with a natural finish. That looks gorgeous. That like melted onto the skin. But the true test is under the eyes. All right, sorry, I'm like a little quiet because I'm trying to concentrate. And we're gonna use it to lift the face as well. First impressions, gorgeous. And I'm just gonna grab a clean sponge and I'm just going to blend just any excess out. I always like to go in with a sponge under my eyes. So that's with House Labs and with nothing. That looks really pretty and it looks really natural. I definitely think it covered the dark circles and it brightened. And it's definitely giving me that medium coverage. So I am gonna build it up just a little bit to see if it is buildable, if you are looking for a little bit more of a high coverage. But I will say it feels really nice under the eyes. It almost feels almost like an eye cream it feels really nice and refreshing and like very creamy and hydrating so okay so now we know that we can definitely build it to full coverage because that looks flawless i mean look at the before and after and then here it is up close in case you guys want to see it so far it looks really good it just looks creamy hydrated under the eyes for me it really comes down to how it sets but i will say it did everything that it needed to do all right and before we apply the mario let me just give you guys a quick little rundown it is called the surreal skin awakening concealer 29 dollars 4.2 ounces it describes as a liquid long wearing formula 
Natural finish, medium coverage, good for dark circles and blemishes, and it's a pro-performance multi-use concealer that visibly lifts, blurs, and brightens under the eyes and complexion for an awakened appearance. Medium coverage, natural finish. For the Makeup by Mario, I do have the shade 260, if you guys are wondering. So this actually comes with a smaller applicator, smaller doe foot applicator, and I'm going to apply the same amount of concealer that I applied on the other side because I want it to be equal, fair, even. So we're going to apply some on the inner corners. This shade compared to the um, House Labs is a little bit darker and a little bit more yellow tone, so keep that in mind, but we're going to look more at the formula. And then around the nose, and then any blemishes. Something that I will say is that the Makeup by Mario one actually smells like paint. So just letting you guys know, not the best smell. So now I'm gonna grab the other brush that I have and we're gonna blend out the other side. This one is also just blending and melting onto the skin, as you guys can see. Let's go ahead and blend out the under eyes. And also lift it up just like the other one. All right, and then going in with the sponge, I'll just use the clean side of the sponge and tapping it out. All right, so here is what it looks like. I am gonna add just a little bit more on the uh, Mario one because again, we want to be even. So I'm just gonna add the tiniest bit. I will say, you don't even need to add more with this one. This one claims to be medium coverage, but I would say it's closer to the fuller coverage. Um, so if you are looking for more coverage without having to build it, uh, the Makeup by Mario one's probably better for that. Obviously, I already know how I feel about the Makeup by Mario one. What I like about the Makeup by Mario one, and it's not, I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell, but the thing that like made me so obsessed with it at the beginning is that somehow it just kind of pops out my under eye sockets. Like, I, I don't know if it's the caffeine or just the formula itself, but I just noticed like less hollowness under my eyes with this concealer, and it also still looks like full coverage with the powder but I will say with the powder, it started looking um, just like a little crusty, like any imperfections that you have, like, like texture and pores, it kind of highlights them. And so that's like the, definitely a con for the Makeup by Mario. And then this one is definitely not like super hydrating, like the House Labs claims. I will say the House Labs right now, even though it's not giving me that like popped out under eye sockets, I hope you guys know what I mean by that. Um, it does look really pretty healthy, hydrated. So let's go ahead and set the under eyes and then we can really like compare. I recently refell in love with the Kosas um, Cloud Set Powder, so we're gonna go ahead and set both eyes with it. By the way, uh, both right now are creasing a little bit. I mean, I have under eye creases, so everything creases on me anyways, um, but they're both creasing like a normal amount, I guess. So let me go ahead and tap this out Just using a powder puff, and I'll use the other side of the powder puff for the other side. I'm just gonna press. Ooh, that set really, really nice. Sometimes like concealers look gorge and then when you set them, they kind of get like darker, you know what I mean? Or the coverage doesn't stay. This one actually did stay and it looks really nice and it feels really nice too. Ooh, all right, I'm really liking this. Okay, and now um, I'll just take a different sponge and Let's blend out the creases here. And this powder is pretty good for like dry skin, if you're interested. So here are both sides set. And right off the bat, um, this is what I was saying. The Makeup by Mario one just doesn't really get dark at all. You know how like concealers do get a little dark when you set them? The House Labs actually held up pretty well, but just looking at them side to side, um, this the Makeup by Mario one definitely looks brighter, more coverage, and more like plumped up under the skin. But I will say the House Lab ones looks nicer on the skin. Um, I think I have like my final thoughts before the wear test. Uh, let me go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back and we can kind of compare. I'll give you guys a nice little zoom and then we can see how they wear. But I'm starting to form my opinion, but here again, House Labs, Makeup by Mario, and of course I will show you guys everything in natural lighting. Alrighty guys, so the makeup is done and I definitely have my thoughts before the wear test for these concealers. So I was looking at them closely. I freaking chair keeps going back. The Makeup by Mario side looks more full glam. 
it just looks a little heavier and a little drier but it definitely looks like brought out full glam we love it the house labs just looks more natural more hydrating not as blurring i actually see my pores more on this side than this side but it is like melting onto the skin and looks a little bit more luminous and natural so from this impression without the wear test i actually do like both concealers um i definitely think that if you have more mature skin or if you have drier under eyes or if you want something that looks more natural more skin like i definitely think you should get the house labs if you are the type of person that you know how like sometimes we were like full full glam and maybe it doesn't look the best um in person it just doesn't look like skin but it looks full glam and it photographs well and it's like a beat face if you're looking for that i think the makeup by mario one will be better for you so i actually do like both i think both have their purpose and their audience um i think more for like an every day i would wear the house labs and then um i would definitely wear the makeup by mario one when again i'm just doing full glam and it doesn't matter it doesn't need to look natural it just needs to make me look snatched then I would wear this one. I wonder what it would be like if I combine them. I'm going to do that next. That'll be my next experiment. So yeah, overall, I do think both are beautiful. I think they have their own place. Again, we'll do a little wear test for a couple hours. I could give you guys like a five hour wear test and then we can see if my thoughts have changed or not. But for right now, that's how I feel. I will show you guys what it looks like in natural lighting here in a second. Alrighty guys, so here we are in front of my window on my phone. So this is House Labs. See how... You can still see like the hollow under my eyes, but it looks more like natural, maybe more like skin-like. And then over here is the Makeup by Mario. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's definitely like more full coverage, not as skin-like. It looks a little bit cakier, but it looks fine. Here's what it looks like, like this. So yeah, I think uh, just like the house lab just looks a little bit less full coverage, less full glam, but more natural, melty, melty on the skin like butter and this is more like set full glam literally everything i just said sorry i don't want to repeat myself but here you have it hey guys um i know i look a little different but same day i just have fake lashes on and gloss um so it's been about four and a half hours this is what the makeup is looking like and to be honest i still have the same exact thoughts when i look in the mirror like straight on i just i don't know if you guys can see with natural light but it's so weird because I feel like in my phone this looks brighter, but in person this looks brighter, right? Yeah, it's interesting. It's it's truly, like this side is truly more full glam, this side is truly more uh, natural. So everything that I said, I still stand by. They're both wearing really, really well. Um, I will say though, I feel like I've seen a lot of people saying that the Mario one creases a lot. Um, I have like a normal amount of creasing and I have to say that the... Uh, House Labs is actually creasing a little bit more than the Mario one. Not a bad amount either one. I'm just saying that the House Labs is actually creasing a little bit more, if you're wondering. But not like a a normal amount. I think they both look great. So I really stick to what I said. I don't want to be repetitive because I know sometimes I do that. But yeah, full glam, natural, both beautiful. I like them both. So let me know if you guys have any questions. I will link them both below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!